a tip you can use. When it becomes hard for you to take criticism, when it becomes hard for you to take criticism, and when you immediately get angry at the person who criticizes you, then you have arrogance. I'll say that again. When it's hard for you to be criticized, and, what was the second part? You get angry at the critic. You get angry at the person criticizing you. Then you have arrogance. Even if they are angry, even if they are wrong, if you get angry, you have pride issues. You have to fight that. You have to fight that. They are still your brother. There are people who email me, they say things like, you are the Dajjal. You are calling people to kufr. Uh, you know, I hope I see you in the hellfire. I've got, you know, I get those emails, sometimes I actually get people coming up to me, shaking my hand and saying, you are going to burn in hell. <laughs> I say it. Now the guy who wrote to me and said, I'll see you in hellfire, I responded to him. First of all, I said, may Allah bless you, may he bless your family, may he reward you, may he reward your family, may he bring good out of you and good out of your family and your children, may he forgive you and your parents. And second of all, please don't say, I will see you in hell because I hope you're in Jannah. <laughs> <laughs> to see me, <laughs> you have to be next to me. So, <laughs> you know, so I hope I see you in Jannah. So, you know, you don't have to, oh yeah? <laughs> well, I'll see you there first. <laughs> you don't have to do that. There are people who come up to me, I say, Salaamu Alaikum, they say hello. I don't think they're Muslim. <laughs> they do. I say, oh, that's cool. Take care then. Salaamu Alaikum again. <laughs> and they still respond. And it's fine. It doesn't bother me. It does not bother me. My, my, one of my best friends in life, Sheikh Omar Suleiman, some of you know him, went to Hajj. Some guy came up to him and said, you know, you and that guy, Norman, they are the, the, you are the Dajjal. <laughs> and he said to them, well, there's only one Dajjal. <laughs> so, so, so the, guy, the guy says to him, you're right. Uh, okay, it's Norman. <laughs> So then, then Omar says, yes, and walked away. <laughs> it's okay, don't get angry at people. Let them say things, it's okay. It's okay, they're still family, and maybe they'll regret it later. There are, there are people who will regret things later, you know? So don't, don't get angry at people who get angry at you. Don't be averse to you know, criticism. That's a good, great tip against arrogance itself, right? The, the final tip I'll give you about arrogance is respect to your elders. No matter how unfair they become, no matter how wrong they become, when you raise your voice against them, when you say, I can't take it anymore, I've respected you for three whole minutes. <laughs> My meter has run out. Then you have an arrogance problem. Our elders are a test of our character. Sometimes Allah gives you a gift. He gives you difficult parents. It's a gift from Allah, because you had no other way of learning humility. Maybe everything else was going to make you arrogant, so he gave you a difficult family, just so you can learn some humility. Abu Hanifa, you know who that is, Rahimahullah? The founder of the most followed school of thought in all of the Ummah. The, the, the founding father of the science of fiqh. His mother used to say, in the middle of the night, 2 a.m., middle of the night, grab the lamp, let's go. Because you know in the night they used to have to walk with a lamp? So he's holding the lamp and they're walking. And she goes a whole mile and she knocks on this guy's door and the guy comes out and the guy is a khatib, he's a lecturer. But he's not a scholar. He's not a scholar. And she says, I have a sharia question for you. And the guy's like... <laughs> <laughs> he's looking at Abu Hanifa and he's going... And Abu Hanifa says, just answer her please. <laughs> Because his mother said to him, you don't know anything, who's going to listen to you? <laughs> I want to listen to this guy. <laughs> but he does it, he goes and mom, listen, it's fine. And then later on, the same guy would go back to Abu Hanifa and say, did I give the right answer? <laughs> and he said, no, but don't tell my mother. 
Or is that love? That's really, you know, this is a very practical thing. It's not some crazy spiritual exercise that will keep you from arrogance. It's practical stuff. It's practical stuff. Be good to your parents even when they're not being good to you. It will teach you humility. It will keep you away from arrogance. May Allah protect all of us from arrogance.